Tunji, you go. Well, I, I've always thought that a child doesn't have a choice. If he lives in a home where there's a father, then he will follow what when he sees. When there's a father that is male. No, it doesn't I matter. Like that. I, no, no, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Male or, or female. Yeah. I, I think children, by default, they see and they hear you much more than what you say. So they will follow your example. Now, what I think that means is that every child, whether he or she likes it or not, follows the either a female or a male example that leader. he finds in his immediate environment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just a female example. Sometimes it's pastor, like we heard in some of those interviews. I, I don't even think it's pastor up until age 10. I think it's post age 10 that um, they're influenced by society as a whole. So I think your foundation should be your home. Now, if there are two parents, absolutely fantastic. And if they know what they're doing, even better. Uh, sometimes they are, there's just one. Um, and I, I hope that many people know what they're doing. No, but I'm worried though, but what about the, you know, the man is in the home and his father, is he playing his role right? And well, you see, uh, and that's where- That's I, my concern. I, I always say that, you see, a man can actually be a threat to the growth and development of a child if he doesn't know what he's doing. Right, because we, in this part of the world... I'm concerned we, about the boy here. Yeah, yeah so we child. assume that the person who donated the seed is always the father, right? So um, we have someone who's... I mean, like the case you mentioned, you're a kidnapper and you're mentoring... Because fatherhood is actually mentoring. You're, you're mentoring kids, who are they going to become, right? So we need to, first of all, understand that we need to produce proper men right, before they become proper husbands, before they become proper fathers, right? But the challenge is manhood is the foundation on which other roles rest. So you don't have proper men, how do they become proper fathers or proper, um, proper husbands when the foundation, which is the identity of the roles, is faulty? So which is why I wonder about people like you who are training people. Fortunately, you've started, you speak to boys, to give you your own personal experience. Yeah. There are tons and tons of NGOs empowering young girls. Aren't you worried about the young boys? Well, they can't worry about the young boys because, I mean, for obvious reasons, at the UN level, I'm not sure there's any funding for training, raising boys, right? All the funding is for raising girls and women, empowering and whatever. So people gravitate in that direction, right? So what we're doing right now, and which is the damage we're gonna to do to our world is- Damage. Everyone is, yeah, everyone is empowering the girl child. Who is the girl child going to get married to in the future? So you're empowering the girl child at the expense of the boy child. So the girl child will be empowered boy. The disempowered boy is waiting to get married to him. And that disempowered boy is going to feel having insecurity, you know, feel insecure, have low self-esteem, right? So we are preparing for a future of domestic violence. We are seeing it already. Yeah. I mean, do you worry about that too? And you worry Absolutely. I'll, I'll give you an example. I, I teach a class in church. It's a marriage counseling class. Mm -hmm. And I tell the guys that do you really know what you're in for? A lot That's of when they get ready to get married. <laughs> a blank stare that tells me absolutely that they I love have her. no idea I love what her. this thing is all about. I like her. They have no, no idea what life after I do <laughs> is all about. And, and, and I'm very concerned. So mm. for some of them, I, I, I actually talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. That life is a lot more than just marrying a wife. Mm. You are going to have kids. You're going to have lots of other challenges in life. Do you know what they are? Do you have any idea how to prepare for them? Of course, many of them don't have. So I'm, I'm so totally concerned for the male child that... Um... So what are we telling people now? I would like us to tell people what should be done. Because I, I, I would imagine a situation where we are having seminars or whatever, but I would rather that fathers, male fathers, men in the lives of boys, should try to raise them right. No, you're totally right. The, the correct model should be a man who knows and understands his role of bringing up godly children, investing in first his own children and then several others. Are, we live in communities, but we all do, although maybe less now than we used to once upon a <laughs> time. Our community is in our palm now. Yeah, sadly. But as a father and as a role model, I should not show my own kids, but I, I should also have several other kids in and around the environment that I also impute what I consider to be values life values in them. Yes. So it looks like everything comes down to morality and God. Oh, yeah. Praise. I mean, it comes back to God because... Um, but there are so many churches, mosques, there are all kinds of things. Why are we still having these problems of a boy that we try to rape a girl? Because we assume that um, those are godly places to go. Um, for me, I think that the foundation is the family. 
what we call church or mosque is trying to repair the damage that the primary family has not done because the most modern nation on earth is the family. The family is a production factor of the society. Even the pastor, the imam was Came out from the, the family. family. So the problem we have is people have not defined those roles. People don't understand the proper system because there's a system that can actually engineer people Tell properly. me the problem. What are the three key things of that proper system? So for example, you're starting a family, you ask an average family, what's your family vision? Are you aware that if I ask you and your wife that what's your family vision and you tell me different things, it means you're going in a different direction. And when there is no uniform direction, destination you guys are headed at, you're going to have Crash. clashes, yeah. right? So your family vision must be clear, uniform. Your family values must be known to everyone. Then basic system that operates in your... So for example, your immigration system, who comes into your family? How do they come in? How do you profile them? Do you give visas yeah. to just everybody? Yeah, yeah. to the you internet. Don't. <laughs> you don't. So basic things that people need, but people don't know these things, so they just do things anyhow. Right. So what should a man... Let me forget about whether he's a father, he's giving the seed or he's nurturing people. Because you clearly told me that a father is, you give the seed, but beyond the seed, you nurture other people. Are you worried that we are creating boys who we think of raping girls today? Yes, obviously. Um, I try, I'll try and give you an example. Every home sits down to eat a meal. Sometimes one, perhaps two. They should. Before they now. should. <laughs> they should sit down to have yeah. a meal. The role of a father should be at those meal times to teach certain values. And, 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 and it's something that we should do. Like his For family, you don't steal. My husband tells my kids there's no lying. No onion no doesn't lie. What do you tell your kids? I teach them the Bible. To fear and God. I, and I think that for me is central. And it's a lifelong process. It's, it's not a one-off thing. Uh, we sit down pretty much every day or every other day and we talk about these issues. And they're real issues. They're things that we face every yeah. day. Don't steal, don't do this, don't do that. And Sometimes when you see them in other people's lives, as you read through the scriptures, mm. you can find clear parallels for what you should do mm. and what you shouldn't do. So it makes what? it so much easier to tell my kids, mm. don't do this, because we can come to that conclusion together and, and, and have the same values. Mm -hmm. So are we worried about the boys? One word. I'm very worried about the boys, uh, and I think that um, the tragedy on ground would require proper men to actually mentor at least 100 boys. Yeah. I, I totally, totally agree. I'm worried about the boys, but it's, it's really in our role and our place as men to decide to nurture and bring up men who have values. Is it too late to say Father's Day is past now, but happy Father's Day. You to, do, do your kids send you gifts? I'm sure it's your daughter that sends you yes, more. Yes, absolutely. They're the loving totally ones. Right. Your kids are still too young. They're not too young. Do they I give mean, you gifts my, for Father's my, Day? They make cards. <laughs> they make cards. Yeah. So the whole idea is fathers need to be more present, whether they're your biological kids or not. Let's be more present for our boys. Don't let the internet raise them. Be very deliberate and teach them the values that are right. Are we agreed? Yeah. Yep. Totally. Thank you so much for watching. But remember, you can catch this show on this channel or on the other channels which I will show you every Sunday. So that's how it's been today on Seriously Speaking. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.